This is James Fox with another video tutorial for Microsoft Access 2010. In this tutorial, we're going to learn what does referential integrity means. Uh, referential integrity means that when a relationship is established and referential integrity is enforced, that means that you can't create a record in Table B that references a number or a name or something like that in table A that does not exist. So what do I mean by that? Let's take a look at these two very, very simple tables that I have created. I have a customers table and an orders table. If you look at the customers table, you'll see a customer ID. For this person, this is her customer ID and so on and so forth. And in the orders table, the customer is referenced by their customer ID. So what I'm going to do is create a relationship between these two tables. And before I do that, you've got to close out the tables and then click on the Database Tools tab, then click on Relationships. And here is the Customers table, and I'm simply going to click, hold, and drag the Orders table into this field. Now, a relationship is created between tables that are formed by using a common field. The common field is going to be customer ID because I have customer IDs in the customers table and customer ID in the orders table. So I'm going to click, hold, and drag the customer ID field in my customers table to the customer ID in the orders table. And here is the Edit Relationships dialog box. I'm going to click Enforce Referential Integrity and then click Create. And as you can see, I've created my relationship. Now, it's a one-to-many relationship because in this table, the customer is only going to have one customer ID, which is why you see the one there. But a customer can place multiple orders and those orders are going to be entered into the orders table multiple times, which is why you have the infinity sign here. So that's what one to many relationships mean. Now I'm going back to the customers table. I'll open that up. And you see the plus sign has been created. And when I click on the plus sign, you'll see the orders that has been placed under the customer ID 1001. And to confirm that, we're going to open the orders table. And you'll see customer ID 1001 has placed two orders. And this customer has placed only one order. So going back to the customers table, I click on customer ID 1002. No orders have been placed under that order number. And 1003, you see one order has been placed under that customer ID number. Now here's where referential integrity comes into play. So I'm going to create a new record and I'm going to create um, order number 20004 and I'm going to enter in a customer number that does not exist. Because remember, when referential integrity is enforced, you cannot create a record that refers to a number or a name or something like that that does not exist. And once again, this particular customer ID number, 1005, does not exist. And we're just going to type in a warehouse name and just a fictitious weight. And here you go. I have a, an error message because it says I cannot add or change a record because a related record is required in table customers. What does that mean? That means I do not have a customer ID number one triple zero five in the customers table. I only have one triple zero one, triple zero two, and triple zero three. So that's what happens when you enforce referential integrity. So I'm going to delete this customer ID, which will allow me to delete this record. And I'm going to close both of these tables because I'm going to edit the relationship and deselect referential integrity and I'll show you what happens when I do that. So I'm going to deselect referential integrity, click OK, 
reopen both tables and I'm going to go to my orders table, enter in a new order, and I'm going to enter in a customer ID number that doesn't exist. And just type in the name of the warehouse and the weight. Now, I did not receive an error message because I do not have referential integrity in force. So as I said before, when referential integrity is in force, that means that you cannot create a record that refers to a number or a name in a field that does not exist. And if you do not have referential integrity selected, then you can create any record that you choose because referential integrity is not enforced. And that's what referential integrity means in Microsoft Access 2010. If you have any questions, please feel free to email me. Once again, my name is James Fox, and I'll see you next time.